Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is an informational video, as you saw by the title and the thumbnail, regarding the new law 9996, which benefits those that are wanting to get the residency here under uh, pensionados, rentistas, or the investor residencies. Yeah, it's been some time coming, and uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a huge benefit for those wanting to come down. And I just thought I'd go over the different points on that. Again, this was just signed by the president here in Costa Rica. I know other fellow YouTubers here in Costa Rica have done this uh, video already but I thought we'd do our version as well. And uh, well, we'll just go over some points I have it in front of me here. And uh, yeah, for those of you that we talk to in our consultations, which we can set up for any of you watching this video, um, just send us an email at ccasa at gmail, or sorry, ccasasamra at gmail.com and uh, we can set up those consultations for you. So um, the new law, uh, yeah, was passed, signed, uh, everything. It's gonna be a couple months till they get all the little uh, details figured out. But uh, so here is what, the law suggests it says um, it's heavily focused on the exoneration of taxes for people who wish to come to Costa Rica and apply for residency categories that I mentioned before um, some of those benefits include um, let's see so a I'm gonna have a pop-up here for you so you can read it as well exemption for the importation of household goods for the main applicant and their immediate family and uh, so again this Still, there's gonna be some rules in that as well that they haven't figured out yet. Exemption for the importation of up to two vehicles. This can be cars, boats, planes, or for personal or family use. Uh, in case of loss of the vehicle due to theft, destruction, fire by fire, flood, collision, or accident during the term of the validity of the benefits granted, the persons will be able to bring another vehicle free of the taxes as well. So yeah, if you got an accident or someone stole it or part of it out or whatever happened, uh, they're gonna allow you to bring another one in uh, if, the, if it's deemed that that's what's happened. The amounts declared as income to become a creditor to the benefits of this law will be exempt from income tax. However, the rent obtained in Costa Rica because of investments made will be subject to income tax as well. So same as if you had uh, bought a restaurant or something like that, you're still gonna have to pay income tax on that money that you're making. Uh, exoneration of 20% of the total transfer tax on those real estate transactions that are completed within the period of the validity of the law provided that the beneficiary is the registered owner of the property. If the owner decides to transfer the property within the period of validity of this, of this law, the taxes will apply. So it has to do with uh, property and stuff. Tax exemption for the importation of instruments and materials required for the professional or scientific exercise of investor, pensionado, or rentista. This is particularly curious since per law, investors, pensionados, and rentistas cannot legally work. It remains to, see, it remains to be seen if this will be dropped from the ruling. Yeah, it's weird because as of right now, as a temporary resident, you cannot legally work in Costa Rica uh, as far as like, you can't come down and start a doctor or a medical clinic or something like that. You can work online and uh, there is another law coming, which I'm gonna do in the next video, which you'll see. Um, so yeah, it'll be, it's kind of weird that they did that, but we'll see what happens again, a couple months. Hopefully it'll be all figured out. Regarding tax residency, Foreign nationals who acquire residencies as investors, pensionados, or rentistas will not be considered tax residents. Okay, so an important note should be made that in case the person decides to cancel their residence or if immigration cancels their residence for any of the reasons stipulated in the law, the person would be required to pay all the taxes that were originally exempted. So yeah, there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff about tax that's gonna come out that they're gonna have uh, fine, fine tuned, which uh, we'll do another video at that point once this is actually all put together. And um, yeah, this is still in the infancy stage, um, but it's coming. <laughs> So regarding the investors, so this is a big one. So um, not everybody has a pension, not everybody has online work. Um, so this would be uh, the way to get residency down here is by investing in the country, which that's how we're getting our residency, which we're in the process of doing right now. Uh, there's a proposal on this new law to lower the minimum investment from 200,000 to 150,000 USD. This is US dollars we're talking about to be, be able to qualify for this category. In addition, the law opens the possibility to people who invest in venture capital funds of, or projects of sustainable tourism infrastructure. So yeah, um, that's good, good news for a lot of people because um, buying, buying a house, buying a business, something like that, it's now lowered to $150,000, which is far, far more feasible for most people. So regarding the processing of doing this, uh, immigration will have a special window for the three categories involved in this new law, which will simplify the process, they say. Uh, 
yeah, there's a bunch of laws about if, they, if you falsify any documents, things like that. Um, validity of the law. Those investors, pensionados, and rentistas that opt to enjoy the benefits set upon this law will have to do so within the first five years of the law and the benefits will be granted for 10 years. Um, so yeah, right now residency, every two years you have to reapply, which you probably still have to do at this point. Um, so yeah, I don't know how like, and then eventually you can apply to be a citizen as well once you've been here for a while. So yeah, it's just good news on everybody that's wanting to move down here to Costa Rica. Um, they, that The car thing and the household good things uh, is definitely the one of the positives or the most positive out of this. Uh, just because vehicles are more expensive down here because of the import tax when you go to buy them. Um, a lot of dealerships, used dealerships, actually get all their vehicles from the states, from auctions and bring them down. And uh, yeah, they're taxed heavily. So being able to bring your own vehicle down, that's gonna be savings. Obviously there's still gonna be shipping charges. Um, yeah, and that's one of the things when we do our consultations as well, we uh, provide you with shipping information, a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna do a video on uh, soon about our consultations again. We've had some people move down that we've done the consultations with. So stay tuned for that video. And yeah, it just says the uh, uh, law specifically says the government now has two months to draft and publish the ruling that will come to determine how this new law is applied. So stay tuned. We'll go over that, we'll go over all that stuff on that video as well. So we just wanted to bring this news to you like the other people in Costa Rica that do videos have done. And uh, I'm not sure if some of you follow them as well. So that way everybody that watches our channel is aware of this. But yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, awesome news. And uh, yeah, don't forget to come and stay with us here at Sea Casa in Samra. If you haven't been to Samra, it's an amazing, super tranquilo beach town that's uh, perfect for families. And uh, there's a little bit of nightlife, but right now Costa Rica doesn't have nightlife. So it's not like it's crazy here. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we have one of the best beaches for swimming, things like that. So yeah, definitely go to Sea Casa Samra com and look at all the information there through airbnb and vrbo but uh, yeah yeah um, we're super excited about this for uh, more people that we're trying to help uh, move down here and enjoy costa rica and yeah it's uh, it's definitely good news i know some people are saying it's bad news because the taxes that they're not making on it but they're gonna make it in other ways i'm sure and uh, so yeah we'll leave the video off there if you guys liked it please leave a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come on new videos and i'll see you in the next one ciao